Hey YouTube, Scrappy here. Welcome to episode two of Crafted. So um, instead of a survival, which I will probably make another episode tonight about on my survival map, because I'm gonna tell you I've done a lot. But right now we are concentrating on this map. So this is my free world. I am starting a new world where I just build things. I have another one called Scrumptopia. It has a bunch of stuff that I've done over like the two years. But, uh, <coughs> I'm just starting a new one. So, so far I have a mansion that I've built, and I've built a railroad system over to a village. And I'm going to show you guys all of this. And as I update this map, I will... Oh, excuse me. As I update this map with new structures, I will make more videos. Um, I may or may not put this for download. I probably won't unless you guys want me to. But, uh... <coughs> Once definitely the finish, which I, I don't know when I'm going to finish this. It's probably going to be a very, very, very long time. But Or or no, I, as I get more things built, I'm going to add more th stuff. But for now, this is what I got. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a tour. So, this is my house. This is the Scrump Mansion. I spent a very, very long time building this. And it's not a hundred percent done, but it's pretty much it, it's pretty like it's pretty much there. It, it pretty much is there. One thing that I like about this is that there is a shit ton of detail. There's a lot of small detail that makes this house nice. A lot of intricate, intricate, intric, eh, intricate designs or whatever however you say it. So then we got a nice giant S for Scrumpy and look, just like the layout of the outside, just beautiful. It's got nice water fountains, got a diamond right there. So there are two interest entrances into my beautiful mansion. You can take the main entrance, which which brings you to the second floor, which is the main floor. There are three levels: there's the bottom, middle, and top floor. And or you can start directly from the bottom floor, right here. Brings you into this room, and from here you can enter into the basement. But we're not going to do that. Excuse me, one second. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something real quick. Gotta change something. Okay. So we're gonna take the uh, normal entrance into the mansion. Really beautiful steps here. All right. So if you look over here, we have an overhead. There is a. It's just you can just look at the beautiful sky from here. If the sun's, if the sun's like midday, you can see it right there. It's really beautiful. So we have three different entrances right here. We have the staircase, we have the rec room, and we have my room. So he, this is my living abode. It's very beautiful. If I do say so myself. Ooh, that looks nasty. Let's cover that up real quick. Um, By the way, I don't know if Notch is going to fix this, but I have a horrible bat problem. And I think bats spawn too much. I, don't, I, I really do hope Notch fix that so no, fixes that in the future. But, you know, it's not that big of a problem. It's whatever. So, this is my bed. Got a little few stuff, but it's not too fancy smancy. But, I mean, it's nice. It's nice. So, this is my, uh, this is my room. My beautiful bed. I have a lamp that you can turn on and off. Leave it off. If you hit this little button right here, it turns nighttime. Don't have one for daytime, but I don't want to. So now we're going to go ahead and enter into the rec room. This I, I like this one a lot. So we have like a little water fountain type hot tub, however you want to perceive it. We have a nice shower, place where you can wash your hands or take a crap, whichever one you like. Come in here. Clean up a little bit. So that's the shower, really nice. We have a little pool table, a music area. And we have a library. Really nice. An enchantment table in said library. Alright, so now we have my beautiful staircase. Got a chandelier right there that leads downstairs. It's really, it, it, this is just a beautiful house. I, th I do think so myself. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you guys. Actually, no, I'm gonna show you upstairs first because there's less stuff upstairs. When I said I wasn't 100% done the upstairs is really what I meant because I still need to think of something to put right here. But um, there's not much you can really see. You can see you can get a good glimpse of the glimpse of the overhead. 
Over here is just like a little lounge where you can like sit in front of the fireplace or burn in it, whichever one you like. Really nice little fireplace right there. I don't, that's just for decoration. So now we're gonna go ahead and head downstairs, and I'm going to show you guys the basement. Oh, I, okay. So this is downstairs. So we have like a little like in this. As I showed you when I flew around, there are like two little off buildings, sort of. And it's just a different part of the building. The structure. Over here is like a little... It. Uh, you know what? This room really serves no purpose. If you want to call it anything, you can call it an armor. Armory, I guess. Come over here. It's a... Uh, I don't know. It reminds me of a steampunk design. Because you, you can turn on the light and that little piston goes up. I don't know. It's it, it's just for decoration. A little kitchen down there. Come over here. You can turn the lights on and off. You have some armor... Some swords with enchantments all on them. Um, as you come over here, you have some ender chests with nether stars in them. And if you come over here, you can actually lead outside. So that's a good way to get out of the base if you want to. But why would you want to? You know, it's a beautiful base. Stay and look at the beautiful designs on to my artwork. So this is the entrance from the bottom. That uh. I was going to show you originally. We have a day and night time little maker things. Now this right here is supposed to be like I don't know what you would call it. Like the uh attic. No, not the attic, that's a horrible. I don't know why I said that. This is it's it's like the uh the runnings of the house. Like this is like this is supposed to be like the little generator or fucking steamer or whatever you want to call it thing that keeps the house. Um right here this is the router. This is like my little router for my house internet. It's like really nice. The really reason I re made it is because I like the uh, I like the redstone circuitry. In fact, I'm gonna show you guys something cool right here. You can use this for doors too. Really, what this is useful, what this is really useful for, I'm gonna show you guys, is for locking a door. So, pretend like this instead of powering a redstone lamp. Pretend like it activates a iron door. So this would act as the lock, and this is the lever. What you would do is you would build a uh, piston stopper or goer, whatever you want to, I don't know what you call these. And what you do is you attach it from an X NOR gate, which basically means that you can open the door from both sides. Except I didn't make that, I just have a normal lever. So the way it works is, if that block is right there, if, it, if it's powered and if it's extended, then any power source running through it will work. However, if you draw it back, it takes away the power source, no matter if the power source over here is on or off. But it, once you turn this on, then you have access to pat turning it on or off. See? I can turn it on. I mean off, then on. Off, on. Then it doesn't matter. But if this is drawn back, it doesn't matter what I have this. It, it will be unpowered. So what you do is, if you have this on an XNOR gate, you come in your house. Uh, I don't know. Let me turn that back on. You come in your house and you turn the... You open the door, go in there, close the door. Or, you know, you... Whatever switch works. But someone can come in there while you're in your house and open your door. And then come in your house. You know? So what you do is you hit this little lock. And then... If I have an XNOR gate right here, no one can mess with it. So that's a cool little thing. I'm going to turn the power back on. That's a cool little structure. This is like some random anvils here. Anvils are really cool. I like them. They look neat. Got a end world right there. Oh, over here. Garbage disposal. This is another little creation I made. It's like a little garbage disposal thing. So what you do is you uh, throw trash here, then hit button to destroy. What the hell is that sound? Is that the sound of water or lava? That's awesome. So you throw them right there, and then you hit the button to dispose of it. It goes into a flow of water and leads into lava. So it's just, it's just a really cool creation. And if there's any problems, you can come into the garbage maintenance room. And this is how it works. It just powers it. It's just a bunch of inverters leading downwards. Over here is a room that I will show you in just a little bit. Actually, I'm probably going to get onto it. Alright, so... This mansion is full of all kinds of mysteries as well. There are three hidden areas so far, this is just so far, that I've created in here. First one I'm going to show you is in the garden. And, this, and if you guys don't want to know where they are, if you want to download the map, then don't watch this part. But uh, this is my garden slash farm. I've got some pumpkins, some melons, some wheat, and some reeds all growing. And a survival roll, this would be very nice. Anyways, the first hidden area is... 
is in this place. What you do is you come over here into the read section, you open this little gate, and you come down here. And voila! And each one has like a little head to like look at you. And whenever you come down here, you are awarded rewarded with another star. And a little sign that congratulates you. Make you feel better about yourself. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. The next two are s very close to each other. So if you find one, odds are you're going to find the other one. So, the way you're probably going to find it is the fact that there are paintings right there. What you do is you open this little trap door right here from the plant. It's used, it's used for decoration, but it's also used for the secret. So there are two leading off from right here. This is just like the little staircase guard. But the first one is, is right here, if you come right here, inside the painting. There's another secret room. This one the creeper face. Another another star. Congratulations. The next one, this was the f original one I made. This one is my favorite. So if you look over at the bookshelf, it, it, like over there, it just looks like it's part of the uh, library in the rec room, doesn't it? Well, here's the thing. What you do is you come over here, you jump on the rail guard, you jump on the chandelier from here. And then you kind of do a little sprint and jump over to the side, and voila. Congratulations, you found a hidden area. And from here, you come down, and it leads into the basement in that little room that we saw in the basement. Once again, another star, and this time we have Steve. So, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. So, that's pretty much it for the mansion. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. Okay, so I'm going to go and show you guys the beautiful railroad station. It's actually not that beautiful, it's just a railroad station. Alright, so you come in here, and you're supposed to come in from this way. You usually grab yourself a minecart plop it down on the rail, get in it, and with the new 1.4 update, uh, actually I think it was like with 1.3, but whatever, you can move minecart, so you just move it to go, and, it, and I, I love how they added the sounds, they, they kind of sound, they're a little annoying, but I mean, they're really nice, you know, they definitely add detail to the environment, <coughs> a little glit, okay, I'm not going to say a little, they're very glitchy, as you can see, they go back and forth, but, um, sounds really weird, uh, I'm just gonna keep going. Really glitchy. And then it stops you right here. So what you do is you get out and you hit it, and that's it. Exit station this way. So it's just a nice little station. Then over here you can do the same. You can get back on it and leave. And then it basically it leads you to this little place. I uh, I made the outline of the border that I'm gonna make for this town. I'm probably gonna make it bigger. But I'm waiting until single player commands, or no, I'm waiting for, uh, I'm waiting for single player, um, what's it called, uh, world edit to come out, to update to 1.4.5, so that I can use, uh, world edit to make, make the walls, it'd be a lot easier to do it that way, and to do, and to, uh, copy and paste all these houses, I'm just waiting for world edit to come out, because I don't feel like doing it myself, because that would take a very, very long time. Oh, we got some nice glitch torches, I want to keep them like that, it's weird, and awesome. And we have the nice town villagers. So that's about it. Um, as I update it, I will make more update videos to update you on the updates that are updated. Of updates. That are updated. Thanks for watching, YouTube. And if you watch this, please go watch my uh, Minecraft survival videos. Uh, I believe this is crafted episode 2. It's on episode 1. And probably going to be episode 3, considering, depending on how they make them. Guess you'll find out later. Goodbye.